Hey there, welcome back to the channel and thank you for clicking this video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Microsoft Office 365 on your PC for free. Now, if you don't know what Microsoft Office 365 is, well, it's actually the latest version of Microsoft Office Suite. It comes with apps such as Microsoft Word, Publisher, PowerPoint, Excel, OneNote. So it's basically a collection of different productivity apps. This version of Microsoft Office comes with a lot more functionalities than the others and it automatically saves or back up all your documents online as you work on them. So you don't run the risk of losing whatever files you've been working on. You can use it for free online but you'll not be able to download and install it on your PC unless you pay for the monthly or yearly subscription. But in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install it on your laptop for free without having to pay for the monthly or yearly subscription. But before we get into the tutorials, hi, my name is Risa, I'm a Cameroonian blogger, content creator and online educator. On these channels, I make videos on tech productivity and online money making strategies. So if any of such content interests you, please consider hitting the red subscribe button and also do not forget to turn on notification bell so that YouTube can notify you when I upload any of such content or videos. Okay, so first of all, you're going to go to Google and type in office.com and what you're going to do is you're going to register with your email address and set up your password. Now, once you create an account, it's going to lead you into a dashboard like this. So immediately you can see some of the files that are created with an older version of Microsoft Office. So you can see some of the words documents that I have. Um, so you're going to see yours already displayed on your dashboard. Now, if you take your cursor to the install office, you're going to see go premium. It means they need you to buy. So that is not what we are looking to do. So what you do is you're going to um, go open up another tab and type in Microsoft developer. Now, once you're here, click the first link you see. Okay, next scroll down and you're going to see Microsoft 365. So click on that. Okay, so once you're here, you're going to scroll down again, where you see join Microsoft 365 developer program, you're going to click there. Once you're here, click join now again. Okay, so once you're here, the next step is to fill in the necessary information in the box. So the first one is your country. So you're going to click on the drop down arrow and you choose your country. Okay, next is your company. So um, you don't necessarily need to own a company. So you can just type in anything here. So I'm, I'm going to type in the name of my YouTube channel. So Risa Campus. So the next box is your language. Now, if your language is not English, just click on the drop down arrow and you can choose your language from the list. So um, the next one is to click the box. I accept the terms and conditions of Microsoft 36 developer and we can just leave this box unticked and then click next. Okay, so the next is what is your primary focus as a developer? You can choose um, whichever one you want here. I'm just going to choose personal projects and then click next. Now, the next question is what area of Microsoft 360 development are you interested in? So um, right here, you can just choose the one that you want. You can just tick um, more than one box if you like, and then you click save. Now, once you're here, scroll down again and then click next. Okay, so once you're here, you're going to fill in this um, the information necessary here. So, can type in your your username your password and then do the confirmation now once you're done just scroll down again and click continue so the next step is for you to type in your phone number so that they can send you a code um, a confirmation code once you're done click send code and they're going to send the code in your mobile phone. So go check your messages. You're going to see the code. So just enter the code in this box and then click set up. 
okay so it's going to leave you here so you can see your microsoft 365 developer subscription if you take a look right now you're going to see administrator so that is the email address we need so this is the most important path okay so once the administrator email address have been created we're going to open up a new tab so make sure you don't close this tab because we're going to come back to get the email address of the administrator so um just open up a new tab type in microsoft store next click the first link you see okay so once you're here um just go to your right at the top click the search icon and type in office next just click the enter key on your keyboard next click the shop option then scroll down on your left you're going to see apps so click on apps next scroll again go down where you see office free so this is it right here just click on it next click get and this box appears so click on open microsoft store okay so once you're here click get click open now once you're here click sign in so the next thing you're going to do is to click on work or school account and click continue okay so once you're here this is where you're going to put in the email address uh, that we created right here as an administrator so just go back and copy it and then you paste it here so go back so you're going to see sometimes it takes you out so you, what you do is just click on get and then click open and it's going to take you back where you can sign in so just paste the email address right here and then click next next enter in your password so make sure you're using the same password we used in the beginning and then click sign in click next again click next click the next button again now it's going to lead you here where you need to scan the qr code so if you click next you're going to see you will not be able to go to the next step so you must scan this code so you'll need to download an app from the play store so go to your mobile phone open it up and go to play store and type microsoft authenticator so this is it you need to install it on your mobile phone so once you install it on your phone just open it up and then bring the camera close to your laptop screen it's going to scan the qr code for you and that is all you're going to see approve signing once you have done that go back to your laptop and click next Okay, so once it has been approved just click next and it's going to lead you here so this is where you're going to type in your phone number so you can just click uh, the drop down arrow and choose your country and then you type in your phone number and click next they're going to send you a code so you're going to go back to your mobile phone again get the code and then type it in here then click next so you're going to see this message sms verified so click next and it's going to lead you here so just scroll down and click done then right here just click ok then click done again okay right here just click the tick 
okay next you're going to see this message do you want to pin office to the tax bar so if you want to pin it to the tax bar then just click yes and then close this then go to the top where you see install office click on the drop down arrow you're going to see office 365 apps so just click on it to start downloading the microsoft office 365 app You just have to be patient right here and you're going to see it okay so this is it down here so you can see office setup so you can see that it is downloading right here okay so once it's done downloading the next step is to install it on your laptop so what you do is just go to your quick access toolbar go to your downloads and you're going to see it so just right click on it and then click run as administrator Okay, so while you're waiting, just close all the other tabs that are open and um, you're going to see the installation process going on. So just have to stay patient and wait until all the apps have been downloaded, downloaded onto your laptop. It's going to take some time for it to fully download. So I'm just going to close and then come back and show you after. Okay, so it has been fully installed and all the apps have been downloaded. So just go to your app launcher. You're going to see all of them right here. Click on expand. You're going to see all of them has been installed and downloaded. So what you do now is just open up any app. So I'm going to open up Excel and you're going to see this message. Accept the license agreement. So just click accept and that is all. You can start using your apps for free on your laptop. You can just check all the other apps and you see it is fully functional on your laptop. So that is basically how you can download and install Microsoft 365 on your laptop. So this is the latest version of Microsoft Office Suite. Now you can start using it offline to do all the stuff that you like to do. But you need to make sure your laptop is connected to the internet every after 30 days so that you don't deactivate it. So guys, I hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching this video. Please do not forget to hit the red subscribe button if, you, if this video was helpful to you and also turn on notification bell so that YouTube can notify you when I upload any of such content. Thank you once more for watching.